my friends, this is Puck. How are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you the updated Puck iOS 3.4 multi multi mod for Android, meaning this mod can be uh, technically installed on any rooted Android phone that is running some Cyanogen mod uh, version out there. Okay. Uh, I installed Lineage OS on this phone and here you can see it. This is in fact the first uh, the first home screen that you can choose of. Yeah, you you know the story about uh, about uh, uh, fixing the launcher will be in the pack. I will put uh, some extra APKs for you in the pack so you can go ahead and fix it. And don't come and cry for me. Oh, some apps not working because you don't read or don't, you know, check the manuals or skip my videos, you know. I mean, like, you guys, yo, I mean, like, I, you know, I'm kind of explaining it. If you go to the doctor, listen good. If you go to the doctor and you're going to do some surgery, when you go home, what will the doctor give you? Well, he will give you medicines and he will give you advice. And if you don't go get your medicines and you don't use them and you die after two weeks or not die, but, you know, you're feeling pain and, and you don't feel good, you know, then you cannot blame the doctor that, you know, he, he is not good because you are the person that want to try something out. So then you must also invest some time into listening, you know, and then fixing the apps, using the medicine that you need to fix the launcher. So this launcher will be updated with a blue, the blue one, the one that gives a blue little home. Yeah, but I cannot inject it because it gives errors. Okay, so you must start with this one and this one will be updated. If you want to be on this home screen, that is exactly what you will have to do. Okay. Now, if we hit the home again, then we can, of course, go to the new Windows 11 concept. And we're just going to go ahead like this because I found out that this was the very best looking. Here we're going to pinch. You can see that we can select the home screen and here we have the new Windows 11. I call it Windows 11 uh, uh, look and feels. You know, this is this is really nice. This gives this brings back, in fact, um, the Windows Mobile that we had before in, in the 90s. I know, no, not 90s, Park, you stupid. It was in 2002. You know, we had Windows Mobile PDAs and they also had this kind of look and feels you know uh microsoft replaced it for some line that you can you know really it makes me dizzy and i don't feel good using that you know i think this is a way better look and feel but that is personal okay so don't take my words for what it is you know that is me personally when i'm you know um in the official uh i have windows phones when i'm you know i, I like this even more but I don't have the possibility in Windows to make it like this. Or I would get some banner, you know, from some cheap app out of the Windows store. You know, I, I find many cheap apps there that want to, you know, kind of represent launchers. And just so little possibility. So I think this is, in fact, you know, the Windows uh, kind of look and feel phones uh, on the Android you know, with the power of Android and the customizing and all the things that you can do on the Android. We can even give this thing a Windows boot logo that it starts up as a Windows phone. You know, so in fact, all these things Microsoft could also do if they would use the open source uh, Android operating system beside the Windows uh, operating system. Because in fact, you know, we have many people that love the Windows operating system and it's a good one. It's not a bad operating system, but the look and feels, you know, sometimes you see a woman and she looks, you know, like, but her character is very good. She's a very good woman. She's a strong woman, you know, give love, clean the house, wash clothes, you know, be a good woman. You know, treat her man good, don't embarrass her man, you know, don't give kiss to her man with smile. And then when the guy turns his head and she looks like this, you know, none of these things, you know, good woman. But just she don't look like, you know, 
uh, maybe that I should not use woman, uh, you stupid. You're gonna get all these women hating on you. But you have, never mind. So that is my Windows 11 concept, okay? And then we have, of course, the MI UI launcher. Also in your phone, this is for my Chinese friends, you know, they, they love this, Chinese Chinese just love this, this comes from China, you know, um, it's it's a good and very stable launcher, you know, I also kind of like it, I, I don't think it's bad, you know, it's not really my thing, but I like it, it of course I like it, otherwise I would not insert it, and my very favorite launcher, that is of course Yandex, and there we go, we're gonna start it up, boom, and there we have the Yandex, dang, but I already showed it yesterday. So these, these launchers will be in the package. Of course this one. And here we can skip. You see that? So in fact, um, of course, we also have for my hard school and old school Android users, the Tribuchet launcher with the beautiful look and feels of Tribuchet. This is the, the launcher of the Cyanogen mod. You know, also very, you know, thumbs up, thum, th thumbs up for you guys. Saying, thumbs up also to the guys of Cyanogen mod for the beautiful Tribuchet launcher. So in fact, this is the original launcher that comes with the ROM. All the rest, I injected it's the mod so now we're gonna jump into the computer and see how you can get this and which phones are supported yesterday one of my subscribers commented that the Cyanogen mod downloads are not available anymore what does this mean this means a lot means that all these phones that were in these listings and all these people that did not you know listen to what i was kind of saying in my videos from december that you know these downloads could probably just disappear you know even though they stayed for weeks in the first weeks of january we see that now at almost the end of january the downloads are gone and they're you know there's no download anymore the list is still there but the downloads are gone so thanks to uh, some guys like reddit a new list has been created and the list is not so big yet but of course all of you can help to make this list even bigger meaning that if you have cyanogen modrums of the past still in your possession you know, I want you to upload them to archive.org so everyone can have, you know, benefit out of it. Because for now, I can see that we have a list with lots of phones and it starts with CM10 going up to, well, let me show okay, you. This is what we're looking at. Here we are. This is, uh, in fact, uh, a site of Reddit. Well, it's not the site of Reddit, but Reddit posted these, uh, these, these builds. And you can see uh, there are lots of builds there. This is 10.1. Here we go to KitKat. But you will have to know the name of your ROM. You know, I mean, like if a thing like GFLTEUSC.zip doesn't say anything to you, that in fact, yeah, probably you're gonna have a problem. Of course, there will be guys that will talk about it and probably link to this file. So here you can see the list. It's uh, in fact not so really long. Here we have the GFLTE SIP CM11. And then here, in fact, CM11, CM12. We also have lots of phones in there. I hope you can kind of see it. I see the i9500 here, CM12. See that? For those that want it, that need it, I, I already told you have to, you know, be very careful with these files. You know, I, I really don't know why some 
somebody out there did not download all these files and just copy the whole website to you know so these files would still be available because many people with old phones in fact won't be able to find these you see this is the i90 100 i think this is uh, the samsung s2 and if you hit the download boom you see that it starts downloading immediately i'm gonna stop it because i don't need this file i killed all my samsung s2 only to do i can use that file but here the GFL Tex CM13, this is the Samsung S4, you see, I also learned about these names, here the i91, what is it? the i i900, so in fact all these, all these uh, phones are, uh, will be able to, all these models that you see here passing by, are supported for the program, and here you can also see the Wi-Fi for the uh, Samsung Nexus, Wi-Fi 2. It's also available. And that's CM14, huh? Eh? But for the Wi-Fi 1, it's gone. At least, I'm not even sure what the, what the name was of that file. I should look it up, should be somewhere. The Cyanogen mod site is still there, so in fact, we can still, yeah, in fact, I should, <laughs> yeah, we should copy all this, uh, this text, make screenshots, so we know the names of the files, so we know what we, what we should look for, you know? So this is it, in fact, peeps, um, these phones are all uh, uh, still kind of supported by Pokrom you see that these builds so that's it and um, I hope that many of you uh, more will you know if this list does not contain a certain phone that you will go ahead and edit I think you can also upload here you see that you can upload you can create an account and and upload so if you all now go upload, make a little site and upload at least the CM versions that you still have. Gladly, my, my versions that I modded, I posted to Mediafire. So that is, uh, yeah, that was really a smart thing for me to do. Yeah, right? So that's it, peeps. The Cyanogen Mod website is history. So as you could see there, my friends, Cyanogen Mod is really also not giving out the builds that they once created, put in so much work. And I find it really sad, you know, um, we understand that you guys gonna change into lineage, but in fact, to be honest to you, Mr. Cyanogen, Steve, it would be really nice if you would announce a thing like this and would let some extra surface you know it would be nice if you would guys if you guys would just keep this pills i mean like even though it's saying cyanogen mod and even though it's kind of outdated and old this is our archive and many people are still using old phones many of them and that's really sad if you're gonna take them away because of some conflict so you guys there think it over you know, I would really appreciate it if you would open it again and just, you know, leave it there. I mean, it was created in the good times of your eight years. It's really sad to put it away. So if you did not delete the files yet, maybe we can open some fonts and, you know, that we kind of gonna donate to Cyanogen or to Lineage so we can get that hosting. You know, I need. I I know that you will need the, the the hosting as well for your new builds, but I mean like builds that will never be created anymore. It's really sad to take them down. Please think it over. Do me a favor, Mr. Cyanogen, and you know thumbs up to all you out there. But think it over. Think it over. See if you can find some some surfer 
where you can host all these old Samsung phones and all these things. This is all, all these cyanide bills, they're kind of important. And if, if there are one, the ones that are probably, you, you can see at the downloads what has been downloaded, you know, really a lot. These should stay, I think, right? I think all should stay, none should be taken down. So, yeah, if you guys can fix that for me and for us and for the community would be really nice because I need them, I need them builds for my Pokerum, my Pokerum family. You know, they are on old phones and they want to do crazy things and they, yeah, they don't care if, if, if lineage won't um, create builds for these own phones anymore. But they, they do care if, if uh, Lineage, uh, Cyanogen Mod, Aka Cyanogen Mod Lineage uh, will take down the builds for the old phones. These things should stay there forever. And who's going to pay it? Well, we, we can try to donate and do something. So think it over. Okay, Steve? I know that Lineage going to be like top of the bill. So think it over. Well, then... All rest me to say that this room or the mod will be in the description. Of course, you can go ahead and download it. You can install it on all these Cyanogen mod uh, family uh, builds that you just saw at archive.org, I think it was. So go ahead and I hope that, you know, your phone is still there. If you need to know what you're looking for, please head up to the Cyanogen mod website the, the download website and look your phone up it will still show everything so you know what kind of file you will need and then go google it and see if you know it's somewhere out there the official version most of the times the guys downloaded it and put it on media fire so god bless all these guys and girls that did that because thanks to them we will be getting these files in the future thanks for watching and love to see you in my next one